Oh, right. SolidWorks Wizards. What's going on? It's Kenneth with Hellas Design. In this video tutorial, I want to give a brief overview of the animation tool in your post processing and analyzing results in SolidWorks simulation. So, in this example that we're going to go over, we'll do some animations. But before we do that, guys, Join my Patreon if you're not a member already for full, exclusive SolidWorks content. You're going to love it. It's going to be super helpful. Free guide to SolidWorks FEA. Link in the description. Check it out. You'll like that too. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a little boost with a like. And let's continue on. So with the displacement uh, results we have here, we have our min and max shown, turned on automatically to animate the reaction of this part, this beam here, after running results, we are going to right click on our chart. We're going to go to animate and you'll see it start to flex like so. And what's really cool is it shows the the value that it's displacing as it cycles through the movement that you see here. We can pause it. Here we have number of frames. Here we have speed, so you can adjust the speed. Let's go to like 60 or 55. And we'll continue playing it. That's a nice speed there to uh, really analyze the reactions on that beam. So really cool tool to help you visualize the results. Animation, guys, just wanted to give you a quick run through of that. Make sure you're not missing out on this nice little tool for SolidWorks simulation. Subscribe to the channel again. Give this video a like. Let me know in the comments what other SolidWorks simulation tools you want to cover. Again, link in the description. Free SolidWorks FEA checklist. Join my Patreon. You won't forget it. It's where all the cool kids are at. We'll see you on the next one.